Good morning and happy Friday. All I can say is thank goodness it's Friday. And I'm looking at my screen and I'm hoping that it looks clearer than it did last night. I did reset the camera. I don't know if that's going to work, but we shall see. It looks a little better, I think. So we're going to end the week with another fun fold. And this is a little bit different. And we're going to use the Painted Lavender uh, stamp set. I am using the Big Hugs Sentiment. Hi, Dawn. From Perennial Postage. And I die cut some of these leaves using the dyes from the painted lavender all right and they are in um pretty peacock all right so we need eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and again this is pretty peacock okay then I have a layer of, and let me just make sure I have the right size here, Highland Heather. And this is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. Hi, Karen. Hey, V. And then I have some um, perennial lavender designer series paper, five and a quarter by four. All right, and we are going to layer these up. So we're just going to adhere this layer to the Highland Heather. And it's a tight fit. But that's okay. And I'm going to leave this one off for right now in case I need to trim it, all right? Next, I have another piece of designer series paper. And this one is five and a half by five and a quarter. And I wanted it, hey, stop. Five and a quarter, so it will fit on this piece of designer series paper, all right? And now, with this designer series paper, we are going to score it. So I scored it at one inch, one and a half inch, two and a half inches, three, four inches, and four and a half inches. And here is my helper. <laughs> Get down, Lizzie. All right. So. When we fold this, we want the one inch sections in the back and or on top, and we want the half inch sections in the back. So I'm going to fold it like this. And we're just going to make sure each of our folds are nice and <laughs> hey do you fell asleep oh my goodness so here is our accordion type fold all right next what we're gonna do is Shiva please stop I said this was where's my five and a half so two and two and a quarter, two and a half, two and five eighths is about half way. So I'm going to just mark this at two and five eighths. And I'm actually going to cut about one inch worth of, I'm going to actually do it this way. So I, have, I marked it at two and five eighths. I'm going to close it up and I am going to pull my blade to about the one inch mark. Now, when I did that, I did cut up to one inch, but I also cut 
the half inch section so you can see that. So we're going to turn this over and we are going to fold this just like that. So we and we're going to do it on both sides. Uh, Sheba, what are you doing, please? Get out of there. Just, just give me one second while I get her settled. She is like the nosiest little girl. For sure. All right, let me just... I want to make sure I... Um, Get this right. So I just want to. All right. Yep. Now, now that I have that cut, I am going to pull back my trimmer. And we are going to measure up one and a half inches. So I'm just going to pull my ruler in. Oh, this is the wrong side. So let's make sure we have, if you have directional designer series paper, you want to come up one and a half inches from the bottom right-hand corner. And I am just going to, Sheba just messes me all up. Mark this at one and a half inches. And then I'm going to put, the bottom left hand corner in the slot by the slot the cutting slot and i am going to add um put the piece that i marked up here in this in the cutting slot okay and we're going to just cut that right off so it's one and a half inches down to the bottom left hand corner and this is what we're left with. And then we can fold this back up. Okay. Now we can fold that in. I'm going to actually put a little bit of glue to hold that down. And then we're going to come over here and fold that up. A little bit of glue and I'm just gonna hold this down for a second now can you tell exactly what it is oh really <laughs> all right so there is our piece so now we can pull in our card base and we are going to add glue to each of these sections all right but before we lay this down i am going to grab a length of ribbon and add it whoops add it right to the center here all right, and we're going to lay this down. Remember I said it's the same size as this designer series paper on this layer. So we're just going to lay that down. Make sure it's on there even. Whoops. That's why I like using glue because it gives us a couple minutes. And then we're just going to close this up. And I'm just going to hold it here for a second until it adheres. All right. And then for our ribbon, I know I cut way too much, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. We're just going to... I'm going to hold that in place. This ribbon is thin enough 
that I can actually tie it in a knot and I don't have to worry about it being um, all messed up. So we're just going to tie our bow and then I am going to, all right, Miss Nosy, hold on to that knot and then pull the ribbon. Hold on to the knot and then pull the ribbon. This way it'll leave my bow um, nice and straight. Then if you have to tighten it, you can tighten it. And then we're going to cut our tails. I can save these. All right. So here it is so far. So let's just see if we can't pull. There we go. Pull that ribbon down so it's straight. All right. Now I ended up cutting a, a scalloped oval from the double oval punch. All right. We are going to take this and we're going to pop it up right here. <laughs> I want to make sure it's on here straight. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to fit it right in that section. All right. So there's that. Okay, sheep. Stop crying now. Give me two minutes. And I am going to grab some basic white. And here is the big hugs. And I am actually going to do it in Pretty Peacock. Nope, oh, it's upside down, but that's okay. Because I am going to grab my punch. And, gosh, she... I guess it wasn't really okay. So I'm going to just pull this in and line it up. And I'm just going to cut this a little bit more. And no, she does not have to go out. She went out before my video. She just doesn't like not being paid attention to. All right, so here is our big hugs. I'm going to add a little bit of glue, and I am going to add it right here to our uh, oval. All right? That's how she talks. Crazy girl, crazy girl. All right, so I'm going to pull my sprigs, and I am going to trim these down. I'm going to add some glue. We're going to tuck them under. And then I'm going to actually cut this one sheep and add some glue. If she doesn't get attention 24 7, this girl, she gets so upset. All right, I'm going to add that one like that. Stop. Oh, stop. I know. And then we're just going to add another sprig here. And I think I'm going to add it, my glue to the front piece so I can tuck it under. Let's get that under, push down, and the sentiment will pull it up off the front of the page. Hi, <laughs> yeah, she is an attention stealer for sure. The girl is, she just needs attention all the time. All right, I'm going to, if I can get this off, put a dimensional. And then we're going to add another one uh, right about there. 
All right. And now we can take this layer and add some glue and add it to the front of the card. Now I know I owe you a blog post for last night's cards. I did not forget. I just had to, I'm working on my craft box subscription for this month. All right, so there is the front. Now for the inside, all I am going to do is I'm going to grab the same leaf, whoops, that the designer series paper, and I'm going to grab some Lost Lagoon, and I'm going to stamp one, two, And then I'm going to grab some pretty peacock. And go in the opposite direction. Whoops. Just got an ink all over my hands. Let me see if I have a piece of paper towel. Sheba is my paper towel stealer. All right, and let's not use glue. We'll use some seal. So did it ever stop raining by, uh, snowing by you, Karen? It's been raining here on and off today, but wow, is it warm. It's what, I don't, I'm not even sure what our temperature is right now. I know it's over 50 degrees. How crazy is that? We've been freezing. Now it's in the 50s. All right. And there is the inside of our card. Pouring rain and very foggy. Yes. All right. So there is today's fun fold. A nice, quick, and easy card, right? 33 degrees. I think it's like in the 50s right now, which is nice. <laughs> so here is today's fun fold. I don't want to cut you off, but I have to finish up my craft boxes. They need to go out today. So have a great rest of your day. You are so very welcome. And I will talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.